I'll play a Jonathan Taves against a uh, uh, Connor McDavid. And then I'll put a Bobby Orr uh, out there to take the whole deal. Hockey legend Bobby Hall is as excited as a nine-year-old kid opening up packs of hockey cards on Hockey Card Day in Canada. Lord Tundra. Maybe we'll have to put a Bobby Hall on that set next well, year. Well, let's do it. These were just like department store skates that they yeah. paid you to put your autograph on? Yep. It's a chance for hockey fans both young and old to meet one of the greatest players to play the game. The first player to score more than 50 in a season and a two-time Hart Trophy winner as MVP and three-time Art Ross winner as scoring champion. Recently named one of the 100 greatest NHL players in history. Hull finished his NHL career with 610 goals, but just one Stanley Cup with the Hawks, a career highlight. Winning this... Uh, was very, very important. It turned out to be very important, uh, but I was kind of young when I won this. Uh, 1961, I was 20, 22 years old, and I thought, well, that was just one of many that we were going to win. As it happened, it was the only one as a club that we won. First 50 of right there. Hull and teammate Stan Makita were credited with developing the big curves on Stay sticks. And on this day, time. Players' Choice Sports Cards and Collectibles has one of those old sticks he used to score his 50th goal. So 67, I don't know how many I scored after that. Likely three, maybe three after that. For some of you kids that haven't seen the old, uh, what they call this? The uh, banana blade. Banana blade. <laughs> there it is, folks. <laughs> This is the lineup for tickets in 61. In 1972, Hull gave instant credibility to the Upstart World Hockey Association when he signed with the Winnipeg Jets and received a $1 million signing bonus. I was the first athlete, first million dollar athlete, either two-legged or four-legged. Seabiscuit hadn't made a million yet. I just told him I wanted a million dollars to get rid of him. Had I known they were going to raise the money, I'd have said 20 million, so they... They couldn't have raised it and because I wanted to stay in Chicago. Outside, the kids are celebrating Hockey Day in Canada by playing box hockey, a boisterous and tiring game. For some, they've never heard of Bobby Hall, but their parents sure have, and it's a real thrill for them to meet the player who tore up the sport in the 60s and 70s. I got hurt playing hockey the other day, so we got a nice picture of him making like he's punching me in the face, so I think that'll be a keeper. Turn your head a bit, Kevin. There you go. I spent an hour with him just before he died. Oh, did you? Well, what a guy. With a lot of the hockey greats like Jean Beliveau and Gordie Howe passing on and Hull himself just turning 78, it means for some fans this might be the last time they get to meet such a Hall of Famer. Sad when you hear someone like Gordie Howe dying. Like, I never met Gordie Howe, so it's kind of unfortunate. But, uh, and same with like a Jean Beliveau. I never met Jean Beliveau, so that's kind of a regret. So, yeah, so you come out and you meet these guys. Nice to see that they're still doing stuff like this? Well, they're nearly as old as I am, so when we chat, we talk about the, the 60s. We kind of grew up together. That's the way they feel. This is a famous, and I don't want to mock anyone, but Gordon Howe did this to a young fella that became one of the greatest, if not the greatest player ever. Oh yeah, A kid by the name of Gretzky. <laughs> and he took, put the sticker on his neck and gave him a little tug. <laughs> Fabulous.